Claire, are you surprised that Crystal called off the wedding? Not at all. Not in the least. You're not? No. You was, know you know her very well, right? Yes. And, um, you know, it was made blatantly obvious to everyone that they didn't have any chemistry. I mean, it, it, everyone was, you know, kind of surprised that he even proposed to her. So, um, I mean, there was no chemistry. They didn't have anything in common. And I, I think that she was just using him. I mean, it's uh -huh. no coincidence to me that she ends the engagement the day that her single comes out on iTunes. Oh. So, I mean, I think it was a publicity Isn't stunt. Isn't she clever? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I seriously. I mean, you're not in love. What girl, 25-year-old, doesn't dream about an 85-year-old man in pajamas? <laughs> walking around in pajamas all day. I mean, how did she, how did he yeah. even think for a minute? There's a line of women waiting around the block waiting for him to die. They're like, you were available. But he has the zoo. I mean, the zoo makes the it zoo. all worthwhile. Is, uh, he's an amazing guy, and he can get, he deserves much better, and he can get much better. That's that's what it comes down you know, he to. tweeted. Yeah, yeah he what did he tweeted tweet? that they uh, broke up. That you know she had a change of heart. And I'm just picturing him doing it from like his life alert. Like the guy tweeted. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> can he do that? I didn't yeah, know he, he could, could do it. that. You know, he's in good yeah. shape. He's yeah. an 85. But the question is, what makes a man of 85 think that a 25 year old girl is actually madly in love with him mm -hmm. and wants to sleep with him? What is that about in a man's mind? You're a man. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, she's had some big assets, as you know what I mean. But, uh, but no, she... She, uh, she has big... What are the, she has big assets. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, but she's I, got so her I, own. I understand he's, why he's interested yeah, in her. Yeah. But why would he think that she's interested in him? I think he doesn't care. I mean, at this he point... Doesn't care. I mean, look at Pierce, uh, uh, the guy with Anna Nicole Smith. I mean, yeah. at that point, it was yeah. just like, sure, come on down. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we spoke to her today, and she said she legitimately got cold feet. She just felt it wasn't right and what you know that's this, her side what of the story. What about what Claire just said about the single coming out today? Well that yeah. came out of the, exactly. It is, it is it's it's just timing. I'm just telling believes, you what she said not not I, I mean, the single by the way is horrendous. It sounds like well, Terminator <laughs> produced it from the grave. It's so bad. It's like a robo. It doesn't even sound human. Really? It's crazy. You have I haven't hear heard it. Well, it's either. honestly it's no worse than any real housewife oh, yeah. single out there. I what mean, about it's this, this rumor that she was dating Dr. Phil's son, J Jordan McGraw, on the side? Did that have anything to do with the breakup? Ian, you might know this, or you do. She oh, denied it. Rumor. She denied it. I know that you know uh, the New York Post had sources saying so. She said no. It was simply she was like Got cold feet. She was on the way to the altar and was just like, you know what, this is just not going to be What do you right. say to that, Michelle? Uh, first of all, Dr. Phil's son is so handsome. Is he? I couldn't <laughs> believe it. I Googled him. I'm like, this is Dr. I was expecting a basketball with a mustache. <laughs> I'm like, this is his son. He's a very good looking guy. Yeah, I would be see surprised. His that's his son, yeah. the one we just showed. You know, he's handsome. Wow. Mr. Phil, I would oh, call him Mr. That's a mister. genetic miracle. <laughs> <laughs> tell me, I don't know. Well, don't I mean, I like Dr. Phil, here. but you know, this kid is really good looking. Same. Whoa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see, she reportedly considered leaving Hef at the altar in exchange change for a $500,000 deal to sell her story to the tabloids. Mm -hmm. What about that? What do you know about that? Claire, do you know anything about this? I mean, for, you can look at this and just see that she's incredibly selfish from this act of, I mean, making everyone go through these extensive preparations mm -hmm. for a wedding for six months. And it was made to be like the American version of the royal wedding. So it was mm -hmm. intense. And uh -huh. to make them go all that way and down to five days before a wedding yeah. and then pull out like that, it's a selfish move. I don't put it past her. And she might have been planning the whole thing. Mm. I, I, I think it was it. calculated. It was mm. seriously in my, what I believe. When I first heard it, I'm like, this woman is a genius. She's brilliant. Yeah, I thought she didn't do it. This is not just a pair of boobs. This is a brilliant you know, girl. Did she get a brain implant? She's is that studied. a thing you can get? Because I think she got that. Now, she's now, studied, well, now yeah. Hef has tweeted the following. I'll read it. Since we're not getting married on Saturday, I've scheduled a movie, Runaway Bride. Seems appropriate. So he's got a sense of humor yeah. about it. And good 